So here I am out on a walk here in a chilly 20, maybe 21 degrees uh, Fahrenheit, uh, sunny morning here in Staten Island, and uh, contemplating what uh, what I'm gonna do today in terms of t uh, bettering my life. <clears throat> And kind of something that uh, I learned over the weekend in that workshop and uh, as I was out on a walk I came across this card let's see where is it yeah it says epic day now it's actually for a snow place but I know kind of consequence that I happen to find it out on a morning walk as I'm listening to uh, one of my favorite uh, motivational guys or I don't know it's just one of my morning uh, things that I listen to to get me going on the right foot uh, listening to Eddie Pinero's uh, Stronger Than You Think thinking about uh, how can you do you do something that's gonna be epic for you and one of the things that I could do so that uh, what I do for me is epic is stop playing the victim of everything and take control, take responsibility and move forward with stuff that might be holding me back. I know one of the things that holds me back is I try to make sure all the systems or everything's in place before I do something and uh, sometimes that isn't the case. You know, I posted something on Facebook about you don't need a recipe to bake a cake until you decide to bake a cake. And uh, Leslie uh, Weatherby put a comment that reading recipes are fun. So, yeah, they are fun. I like to cook too. Uh, but it's also good to create recipes and sometimes out of that, uh, out of that uncertainty of making the decision, you experiment a little and who knows maybe you'll come across a better cake that you created to uh, eat or give other people and they're gonna find it so sit down today try and figure out what you're gonna do that's gonna be epic for you today because um, what you want to do is find something that you can do epic for you today and the more that you find you're able to do something for you subconsciously you're going to be helping all those around you that some people tend to put first so we'll talk to you later